Hi, this is Rena from thecheesebeef.com and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this bracelet. This is called Happy Feet and this was designed by Rainbow Loom SG on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram below. You can check her out. She has a lot of really cool designs and pictures. So let's get started. For this bracelet, you're just going to need two pegs. So you can use a rainbow loom, a monster tail, a finger loom, or just these two pencils like what I have over here. So I'm going to make this bracelet in the same color scheme as the one, my example. So I'm going to start off with purple and then I'm going to create an X. Like so. So that's like a figure eight right there. Now I'm going to start with the little heart shapes on the bracelet, like there. So I'm going to take pink and put it on top, like that. I'm going to take my purple band and pull it up, and then the pink band and pull it over. I'm going to take another pink band and put it up on top. And I'm going to take the purple band, pull it up and over, and then pull this pink band over. So that's what you should have. That's what it should look like. Next, I'm going to take my black band and put it up on top. And my white band and put it up on top. Like so. I'm going to move everything down a little. So that's what you should have. And now I'm going to take my pink band and put it up on top on both sides. Like that. Now I'm going to take my purple band and then put it on the top. And then this part is a little tricky. You're going to invert this pink band onto the black band. So what that means is you're going to take this black band, you're going to pull it down, and then you're going to pull the pink band up and over. And then now on this side, you're going to invert the white band with the pink band. So you're going to pull the white band all the way down to the bottom, and then you're going to pull the pink band up on top. So then this is what you should have. And now you take your white band. So it should be your middle band over here. And then you're going to pull it up and over. And then this middle band, which is your black band, and pull it up and over. And that's what you should have. So let's do that one more time. So I'm going to take this and pull it onto my purple band, pull it onto one peg, and just release this black band. And then pull this purple peg, purple band back onto this peg. Put this purple band here and release this band and take it out. And then pull this purple back onto this peg. So you see that's actually your first heart pattern. So let's start that again. You're going to take your pink and put it up on top. And then you're going to take your purple band and put it up on one side only. And you're going to take that pink and pull it onto the same peg on the side where you lifted up the purple. Take another pink, put it up on top. And then you take this purple it up there and pull this pink over. So that's what you should have. Now you're going to take your black band and put it up on top and your white band and put it up on top. Like so. And you're going to take this topmost pink band on both sides and pull it up and over. That's what you should have. Now you're going to take your purple band, put it up on top, and this is where you're going to do the inverting. So 
you're going to take this black band and pull it down and then you're going to pull the pink band up and over. And then you're going to take this white band and pull it down and then you're going to pull this pink band up and over like so. And now your band should be crisscrossed like that. So the, the uh, what I mean is this white band goes down this way and this black band goes down this way. So you're just going to take the middle band and pull it up and over, like so. So there is your second heart pattern. I'm going to pull this on the left side and pull this up and over. And then pull this purple one onto this side and pull this up and over. Now I'm going to show you just one more time, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it so that you the black band is on this side and the white band is on this side. So if you look at my bracelet here, um, you see I did it's black on one side, white on um, it's black on the left side and then white on the left side, then black on the left side and then white. Let me show you that. So let me just show you what, how to do that alternating pattern. So you're going to take your pink band and put it up on top, pull your purple up and over onto one side, take your other pink band, put it up on top, take your purple band, pull it up and over. So this is what you should have. And now you're going to take your black band, put it on top and then your white band, and then put it on top. Now you're going to pull this pink band up and over on both sides, like so. And then now if you want this side to be the black one, you're going to need a purple band first. Put the purple band up on top. And then now if you want this side to be uh, black instead of white, what you're going to do is pull the white down. Sorry. You're going to pull the white down and then invert it with the pink. And then on this side, you would pull the black down and then invert it with the pink. So you're just doing the, the, whatever, the opposite color. And then you would still take the middle band and then pull it up and over on both sides, like so. And then to, you would take this band and release it. Put the purple on that side, it's the same steps. Put the purple on this side and release it. And then if you wanted to end the bracelet, you could just end it right now with a C clip. So I'm gonna take this off. My clip on and then show you the bracelet. So you see this one, this last one ha is a different pattern because I just inverted it differently. So that's how you would go about if you wanted to just do alternating like on this bracelet right there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. Be sure to check out Rainbow Loom SG on Instagram and follow her and, and if you happen to make this bracelet, please tag us. We would love to see your creations and like them. Thank you for watching and please remember to be kind to one another. Have a great day and bye.